Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to resolve the ntoskrnl.exe executable creating a high CPU and memory usage on your computer. So this can be especially annoying if you have very limited memory available on your computer and it's really bogging everything down. So in this tutorial I'll be going over specifically how to resolve this um, particular executable's um, memory consumption issues. So very straightforward here, I'm going to have this text in the description of this video. So what you're going to do is basically paste it into a notepad file on your computer. So just go on the start menu and then type in notepad. So I'm going to type in notepad here. You would click on this. The icon is a little notepad if you guys have never done this before. And then once you've pasted this in, so right clicking and then pasting it in, or control V to paste it, doesn't really matter. You would left click on the file tab at the top left, and then left click on save as. Underneath save as type, left click on this little drop down arrow, select all files, and then name this file whatever you want, just make sure you do a .erg or .reg on the end. So for the example of this tutorial, I'm just going to say fixfile.reg. And then I'm going to left click on save, but first I'm going to set it to the desktop location. Make sure you take note of what the path of the file is going to be. I'm just going to save it to the desktop here, and then I'm going to close out of our notepad file. Now that I see that my registry entry is on the desktop, I'm going to double click on it. Receive a user account control window, select yes. Whenever you modify the registry, you're going to get this notification saying that adding information can change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. Are you sure you want to continue? Select yes. The keys have been added successfully. Okay. So once you're doing that, you can restart your computer, and you also do not have to keep this file on the desktop if you don't want to. If for some reason you have an issue with this file, you can open this file back up in Notepad and locate the path of the file and then delete the keys if for some reason you had a problem, which is really not that hard to do because all you have to do is just right click on it, left click on open with, and then if you go underneath other options with more apps, you can select notepad and then OK, and you can see the path of the file that was inserted here. So very straightforward. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.